Hello everyone! Today I'll show you a review of a finished item. Here I have an organza blouse and I'll give you a detailed review. I wasn't planning to show you a review today, but the moment I saw this blouse, I realized I have to show it to you. It can be made of organza or some other fabric. It requires a lot of hard work and time to make such a blouse. I have a weakness for organza and cambric. Some people are afraid of working with organza. It's so hard to work with it. It slips out of the hands. You should practice to be able to work with it. Anyway, our tailors managed to make such an amazing item. Of course, we made the blouse on the basis of the 10 measurement system. These places fit perfectly. The tuck designed accurately makes an item fit perfectly. The tuck is in between the yoke and the item itself. The yoke is a bit higher than the waist, for about four fingers. The yoke was made separately. It's amazing. It has a lot of pin tucks on each side, one big in the middle and ten on each side. Yes, right. There are 10 pin tucks on each side. It's a very complicated work, but it's not the most complicated part in the blouse. Have a look at the sleeve. It's straight and pretty wide. Here are also the 9 pin tucks, which together make a kind of the cuff. There are the folds here and a straight on the other side. We've already made the pin tucks on the skirts and blouses, but it's much harder to make them on organza items. I think that some of you will manage to do it, even though it's very hard. There are a lot of complicated details in this blouse, which I want to show you. Have a look at this ruche. It's placed around the neckline. The edges were processed with a baby hem. It's absolutely perfect. It took our tailors a lot of time and hard work to do it. If it wasn't made of organza, it wouldn't keep the form so good. Have a look here. The blouse has the buttons at the back. The wrong side of the blouse is a whole new story. When I saw it, I was shocked. It's absolutely amazing. The yoke was sewed in very gently. Now have a look here. In between the two layers of ruche, there is a narrow biting stitched at the both edges. The biting is made of the same organza. There is also a biting on the wrong side. It was made of the lining. It's a very complicated design, so you won't find such items in the shops. It's also pretty expensive. If you make such an item for yourself, you'll be very happy. The sleeves fit perfectly. There are the buttons on the back. I've already said that. Now I'll put it on a table to show you. The wrong side is also worth watching. I look at the blouse and think, if I had such a blouse, I would wear it wrong side up. The lining is made of the fuchsia silk. The organza itself is also made of the 100% natural silk. That's why it's so gorgeous. Have a look at this part. Give a close view of it. You can make such items only of organza. Have a look at the edges. You already know how to edge the items. The yoke was stitched on. These are the tucks. Now have a look at the side seam. Imagine we process it with a novelock. It wouldn't be that beautiful or that stiff. The seams are gorgeous. The back was packed perfectly. There are the eyelids on one side and the buttons on the other. The placket was stitched to the lining. 
So there is no stitching here. The seams are tiny. It was stitched to the lining and turned out. Can you see it? The seams are tiny. When the new tailors come to our fashion house, they want, for example, to make one centimeter seam. But I tell them, we make a five millimeter seam here. So I have to tell them to forget what they've learned. Even in the coats, the seam is seven millimeters. The armholes are etched perfectly from the wrong side. The shoulder seams are also very good. Everything is perfect. I've showed you the wrong side and the right side. Now I want to show you the baby hem once again. It was made perfectly. Of course, you can process the flounces with the old hem, but it wouldn't look that expensive. You can use the old hem for the beach clothes, but not for the holiday ones. Practice makes perfect. Sometimes, when I come to the fashion house and see the items, I realize I have to show them. It happened with this blouse. It's amazing. Be different and don't be afraid to make crochet, ruffles, pin tucks, edges, and so on. Don't forget that practice makes perfect. My name is Pauk Shterina. Subscribe to my channel. Today I've showed you an amazing item made by the tailors of our fashion house. Goodbye.